degrees of the guys, our chief guest, my very good friend, Mr. Pius Sovani, the managing director of the renowned cloud company of Nashik, that is the ESDS, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Honorable Registrar, Honorable D, HODs, my dear staff members, and of course my, my dear students. I would like to welcome you all on the eve of second Sun Hack 24. Last year also, you had organized such kind of event. Last year I was not there, but I came to know that the program was very successful and hope that this year also the program will be a stupendous success. I think uh, we are the students are from which year? Second year, third year, final year? Mixed. Yeah, mixed. And here I here I'm not come to deliver the lecture or some uh, some boring speech like that. It will be very brief and uh, I I want to share some of some my some experience and I will share my what I what I feel the best I want to convey to my students. My dear students, it is a time of placement also. How many students are from final year? Okay, only one student. Okay, fine. Now, those who are in third year, second year, first year, they can also understand it well because anyhow they have to prepare for the placement next year in subsequent years. For every vacancy in IT sector, at least, at least 10 applications come. That means if there are 100 vacancies in company like ESDS, how many applications will come? 1000. Now, now see the HR point of view, the HR of ESDS. Now, the HR of ESDS, they have got the resumes of how the thousand resumes and they have to shortlist for the interview. How, now, the HR point of view, how they will shortlist the resume? Can you suggest anyone? They will see first because they can't call thousand guys for the interview. First, they will see for the academic qualification, the percentage in percentage in 10 or 12 or say 100 of engineering. That is the one thing. And most of the students they get first class in 10, first in 10 or first in 12. That is not a big deal. All of all the engineers' academic qualification same. That doesn't create a big difference. Then the HR will see three things. How many graduate programs the students have covered? The skills, job skills, and how many employment enhancement certificates the students have got. On the three basis, on the three points, the HR of ESDS will shortlist the application. Remember that. That's why. We have given you, we have always emphasized on three things. Apart from the curriculum, we have introduced three things. If the three things are there, your resume will be very, very strong. That's why you should take key interest. You should take key interest in these three things. Now you have been shortlisted by ESDS. Now you get the call for the interview. We are, I'm also a recruiter everywhere. I, I also recruit there are a thousand candidates. When we are getting opportunities for the interview, when we are entering and when we are exiting, hardly 7 to 10 minutes we are going to get. In 7 to 10 minutes, we have to convince them. Now the HR, what do you see? Now what I see myself, I see the appearance of the candidate, not good or bad, means the body language of the student, the body language of the candidate. How the person is dressing, his body language, second thing, now, they are after your interview start, you will open your mouth, the first thing, your communication. That's why, 
Apart from the curriculum, three things are mentioned, and the fourth thing is the soft skill. These four things are very, very important for you. After the selection, after the selection, now you will have to come and join the company. Why you have joined? Yes, yes. Now you have to prove yourself and you have to retain your job. For that, what will require? The job skills will be required and a whole world behaving and a whole world targeting with the peers. That means the attitude will be targeted. That means attitude is very, very important. You have to, when you are going to become an engineer, you will have to apply from the curriculum. The curriculum, the significance of curriculum is, it will enhance your knowledge of fundamentals. It will create a basic concept, but that is not enough nowadays. Apart from that, what I said, soft skill, then value program, then the skill based programs, and then finally, employment enhancement certificate that you will have to be very, very serious in this four weeks. Thereafter, and don't think that our two years or three years, after passing on from the university, you will become settled. It's not like that. The life itself is a university, remember that. Every day you have to learn, every day you have to upgrade, and you have to learn how to work out of the out of your comfort zone. That is very, very important. Nothing is comfortable. There is no gain without pain, remember that. For example, if you want to build your muscles, suppose you want to Suppose you want to build your muscles. What do you what do, you do? You go to the gym. And then what do you do? You lift the dumbbells. You are lifting 10 kg or 12 kg or 13 kg of dumbbell. You are lifting against the gravity. You are lifting against the gravity means you are getting pain. And where is the pain you are getting gain? Your muscles are building up. But suppose, suppose you lift, you see, swing the dumbbell randomly. You don't get benefit. That means random pain in your face, you don't get any benefit. Means suppose you are swinging the dumbbell. You don't get benefit because there is no sync of mind and your body. That means you have to work outside out of the comfort zone and your mind and body it should be in sync. The first thing is this one. The second thing I will tell you right now also. You should always set your skill. You should always set the goals. Goal setting is very, very important. And you should practice that from now. It will help you throughout your life. We also do the same thing. Three types of goals are there. One is the short term goal. Second is the mid term goal. And third one is the long term goal. Right now, for you, what is the short term goal? Sort of getting this passing the examination with the five years and getting the job say minimum five years with this per enough. That is short term goal. For that, what do I do then? For that, we have to work hard and we have to gain all kinds of skills. That is short term goal. Then the mid term goal, that means in this five years, suppose you want the package of say 12 lakh rupees per enough. For that, you have to upgrade yourself. And then third thing, the long term goal, that have to say that you want to become GM of a company or you want to become the CEO of a company or you want to start your own company like my Matthias Yushavani. So for that, you will have to get lots of skills, develop your attitude and then only you will become successful. Suppose you want to, <coughs> suppose you want to go to, suppose you want to go to Delhi, what will you do? First, you purchase the ticket. Suppose you decide, I want whether you want to go by three tire or two tire or AC or whatever. You plan the amount of time you are going. You plan whether you want weight or you don't want weight. You plan your plan your food in the in the travel. Now there is how many thousand kilometers, and for traveling to thousand kilometers, you are planning so much. Right, you are planning so much. But the life is much beyond that. 
जीवन में बहुत बड़ा है अठारह किलोमीटर बहुत बड़ा है Okay thank you very much